A man once sentenced to death for murdering a young mother and her daughter will now spend the rest of his life behind bars. Our Rich Van Wyke was in the Madison County courtroom today and talked with the victim's family after they were forced to relive the emotions of that brutal murder 15 years later. Police spirited the convicted killer out a side door. Fred, anything to say? All around the corner, family members cried and hugged in the hallway, remembering Corey Clark and four-year-old Jenna, Christina Fleming's daughter and granddaughter. What he took from us, I, I don't know if he can understand the impact that it had or the importance of those two individuals, but that's what I wanted for him to hear. Fifteen years ago, Bear savagely murdered mother and daughter in their lapel home. A federal appeals court later overturned his death sentence. I've not seen a more worthy person of the death penalty than, than Frederick Bear. Although the Madison County prosecutor was certain he could convince another jury to recommend another death sentence. The reality is nobody's been executed in Indiana for 10 years. Uh, cases are not getting past the federal court of appeals. They're being reversed for whatever reason. And uh, when I became uh, prosecutor in 1995, we had 51 people on death row. There are currently 11 there now. But not being executed. Cummings said he offered Bear life without parole only because the victim's family approved of it. In court, John Clark tried not to cry while telling the judge, it's exactly what I want. The murders he testified ruined every aspect of my life. Bear was emotional when he read a short statement. I am deeply sorry for the terrible grief and pain that I have caused you, he said. I live with the guilt of having stolen two innocent lives every day. His attorneys recommended he accept the plea agreement. He said, I, I don't want to put this family through anymore. So if we can avoid a trial and that is offered to me, I will accept life without parole, which is what he did. Fred Bear will live his life inside a state prison. Corey and Jenna Clark's loved ones will live their lives knowing they will never have to face him again. Rich Van Wyke. And that's Rich Van Wyke reporting. The Madison County prosecutor told Rich today that Frederick Bear will serve 180 years in prison for rapes and home invasions here in Marion County and Hamilton County.